Ready, fight. Ready. Let's do it. So here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. In nearly every fight, he's going to have a massive reach advantage. So we'll see what he chooses to do here in the early going, if he leans on the grappling or the wrestling. But that reach is a very powerful thing in modern-day mixed martial arts. It's one thing to have a reach advantage. It's another thing to use it as masterfully as John Jones has done in the past. Catches the leg here, and now goes for the takedown, it's there. That's strike block, I put in. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's calling card. Straight right is there. Oh, Jones gets caught by another straight. Nice body kick. Oh, nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Winklejohn told me before the fight, you haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight. Oh, big elbow. Caught that kick there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, big elbow. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Land that beautiful jab. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Jones's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. He continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, that's a big knee. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, nice jab up top by Jones. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every... Oh! Yeah! 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 Oh, so there's the hole at the end of the round. He got knocked down near the end of it, saved by the bell. He will live to fight on. The question is for how long. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Nice punch by Jones. Oh, and he has got that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Jones is blocking well now. Oh, that's two. John Jones with one of the greatest knockouts you will see. What a fight. What a fight.
All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones! All right, what a highlight here tonight. John Jones, your winner by KO. Some are surprised to learn that John Jones has double-digit decision wins in the UFC. No scorecards needed tonight. Well, that's because he has this ability.